Hi and welcome from DevOpsCon 2019 in Berlin. I'm Ann-Kathrin Klose and I'm talking to Emma Button from New Go today about infrastructure as code. Hi Emma. Hi. So let's start with a very simple question of um, what is infrastructure as code? Infrastructure as code is where you define the resources that you need for your infrastructure estate, you write them in code and then you use an infrastructure provisioning engine to create and configure those resources. Mm -hmm. So um, this is DevOpsCon, can you also tell us a bit about how this relates to DevOps in general? So if you automate the creation of your resources mm -hmm. and you remove the human hands-on element, it helps to reduce friction during your pipeline of delivery. Um, you can use infrastructure as code as part of your continuous integration and continuous delivery pipeline. Infrastructure as code is like the foundation building the resources on which you then build your application. Mm -hmm. um, then again, it's with DevOps always about how you do it, how you work on it. So are there agile principles you should keep in mind and adopt when working on infrastructure as code? So my talk at DevOpsCon was about the agile lessons that I've learned through software engineering and how I apply them now to infrastructure as code. To me, the one which stands out um, is simplicity, the, the act of doing as little as possible to get to your end goal and maximizing the things you don't do. Mm -hmm. So in infrastructure as code, I see that as reusing code libraries, consulting external registries, so that if there's somebody that's already done what you're trying to do, then you use their expertise, expertise and reduce complexity, reduce duplication by reusing code. Mm -hmm. So. Um you just said it's also about stuff you learned from development um, f you're now implementing. Um, are there any advice you can give to people coming from development? So um, I've spoken to several people at the conference today who've come from a development background and the advice that I would give them is to keep your eyes open. So the challenges that we face in the infrastructure world can be very different to the challenges that you face in development. Um, that said, there's still the ch same challenges of creativity, timeliness, um, the ability to refactor. The challenges have got the same shape, but the pressures on you might be different. So a good agile developer will learn to inspect and adapt. So we inspect and adapt our tooling, we inspect and adapt our behaviours. Mm -hmm. um, and about reusable code, you just mentioned it. What kind of tools are there you could use or what kind of how do you choose the right tools for such products? Right so at Nubigo we use Terraform. Mm -hmm. um, the reason why we use Terraform is because it is widely adopted. We tend to find that it is the fastest tool for our clients to adopt if they've gone from a standing start. And Terraform for us is platform agnostic. As we work in the cloud, we need to be able to use Terraform across multiple different cloud providers and also on premise. Um, so the tools that I discussed today are tools that you can use alongside Terraform to instill quality in what you do. So unit testing frameworks, mm -hmm. using inspect testing on top of Terraform to validate that your server is in the correct state. Mm -hmm. um, unit testing is an important uh, keyword you just mentioned. Are there differences in how developers from different backgrounds do testing? Um, there are. There's no right or wo wrong way to do unit testing and arguably the sorts of testing which you would apply on infrastructure probably aren't strictly unit testing. But the, the challenge is to ensure how do I know that my system is in the correct state for me to proceed? How do I ensure that I haven't made a glaringly obvious mistake? So once again, it's about the challenges of software development are very similar to the challenges of infrastructure. And so we can take the learnings from running lots and lots of unit tests quickly to get a fast feedback loop. We can do that with infrastructure code as well. Okay, thank you for the interview.